up guys? Welcome back to Katya Lace Henry's World. If you're new here, what's up? I'm Katya. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Yeah, so for today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys about 26, 27, 28, I don't know. A couple things that I want in a guy. So a while ago, probably about two, a year and a half ago, I made a list of what I want in a guy. And I got this idea because my grandma told my mom a long time ago to write a list of what you want in a guy. My mom told me that and I thought, hey, that's kind of a good idea because why not? Why not write a list? Why not manifest an amazing person into your life? So hopefully that's what I will do. But I wanted to share with you guys uh, a few things that I want in a guy. Maybe you can relate, maybe you can't, but this is what I want. So let's get into this video. If you don't already know, this top is from my ballet collection, Workouts by Katya. Make sure you check that out. Put the link below. And yeah, so disclaimers. Um, I'm very, very, very aware that nobody is perfect. And this list is not like, you need to be everything on this list right now or we cannot be together. Like that's not how I am. I'm very, very patient. I'm willing to work with you. I'm willing to grow with you. I'm willing to help you grow and I will be there. That's just the type of person that I am. I'm very, I'm very, I'm a very genuine person. Like I want to see you grow. I want to help you. And that's just the way I am, so. Number one, he needs to believe in something higher than himself, whether it's God, the universe. I really honestly don't care what it is, but I want him to look up to something higher than himself. Um, for me, I feel like that just holds someone accountable to making the right decisions, being a kind person giving just like being an all-around good person and i just think it's very important to look up to something higher than yourself so i would want my guy to have either a relationship with god or be i don't know very spiritual i'm spiritual and i guess more spiritual than religious i would say but yeah so that's number one um, number two, he needs to be intelligent. Um, now I'm not saying I'm the brightest bulb on the tree, <laughs> but um, I do know a lot of random facts and I love to learn. So I want my guy to know a couple things, whether it's about outer space, whether it's about animals, whether it's about football like i really don't care i want you to be able to teach me some things like because i want to be inspired to learn and i love to learn so i want you to bring something new to the table like as much as possible honestly because i tend to get very bored like just looking at a cute face all the time like i'm a gemini so i like new things i like excitement i like variety, you know, like I get bored easily, so I need you to be intelligent. Alright, um, he needs to know how to make me laugh. Of course, I love to laugh. Um, who doesn't love to laugh? I need someone with a good sense of humor and someone who can joke, but not mean jokes. I do not like mean jokes. Like there, are, there's a fine line between being mean and joking. So that's where a lot of people get it messed up. But you need to make me laugh. I have, me personally, yeah, my sense of humor is actually very sexual. So I need someone who has a good sense of humor and who can laugh at my jokes because my jokes are crazy. He needs to be willing to go plant-based slash vegan or somewhat vegan. Like, I'm not saying jump out the window, cold turkey, like become vegan, <laughs> but I want you to be open-minded to it because it is my lifestyle and I think about things like kids in the future. Like, I want my kids to be plant-based, so um, I would really 
like it if um, my guy was somewhat plant-based or like was at least open-minded to it. Of course, my perfect guy would be plant-based. Um, we could get married and have plant-based babies, but like I said, I'm very patient and willing to teach you, willing to cook you anything like, so yeah. Um, another thing is he needs to put me first. Now, like I'm not saying put me before your mom, your family, like I'm not like that. Of course I know your mom, your family comes first and like that's how it always should be because that's definitely how it is for you. My family comes first. Um, but like make me feel important you know make me feel like you really care about my feelings like my feelings come first and stuff like that just put me first another one is he needs to be proud of me and show me off um so when i say like proud of me i want you to acknowledge the things that i do um business wise anything and just like tell me you're proud of me every once in a while because everybody loves to hear that everybody needs that little extra motivation and especially from someone you love it's, it's very important so yeah another thing show me off like when we go places like show me off like yeah this is my girl i love her like i want someone who's not afraid to scream like i love katya at the top of their lungs um, so yeah, show me off, like bring me places, don't hide me. And this has nothing to do with posting me on social media. You don't have to post me on social media, that's not at all what I'm saying. Um, but I want you to take me places, show me off, be proud that you have me, like, yeah, simple. Um, loyalty is important to him and always takes my side. Um, loyalty. My loyalty runs so deep and that goes with my family, my friends, my boyfriend, like I'm your ride or die. If you don't like someone, I'm probably not going to like them either. Just stuff like that, like in loyalty, of course, like be loyal. Don't be out here like, you know, doing things with other people, of course, like just it's like Loyalty for me is so much more than like not sleeping with someone else. It's like, it goes so deep and I can't really fully explain it in this video, but if you're smart, you know what I mean. <laughs> Let's say someone does me wrong and you just don't take my side at all. You don't even pay attention, anything like that can really hurt my feelings. Like I want you to always have my side um, with anything. And of course, if I'm wrong, I want you to tell me that I'm wrong. That's part of like, that's 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 part of like having my back, like, you know. So another one is he needs to be a good communicator and he needs to be open about feelings. With like, if anything is you're feeling any type of way or like something is going wrong, I want you to be grown up enough to be able to talk about it, not hold it all in, and that comes with being open with your feelings. I know a lot of guys don't know how to be open about their feelings, um, something you kind of have to learn, but I find that very attractive when a guy is um, very open about their feelings. It also just helps a relationship when communication is happening. Um, so yeah, I'm very big on confrontation and all that. Like if something is bothering me, I will be the first person to call you up and sit you down and talk to you about it and try to fix it because I'm, I'm always trying to just fix stuff. I don't want drama. I don't want to fight. None of that. Let's just get to the bottom of it and let's fix it. He needs to be open-minded. That goes with anything and everything in life. I'm very open-minded about literally everything. I'm always down to hear someone else's opinion. I'm never gonna say that's wrong, that's right, like, cause what do I really know? It's all based on your opinion. So, I don't know, he needs to be open-minded, period. You always gotta keep your brain open. I don't like ignorant people who only believe what's right in front of them. Like, you need to open your brain. Another one is have a career and your life needs to be on track. This is important because 
I have a career and my life is on track, so I need someone who has the same. Um, which is why I end up dating singer, athlete, whatever. Um, a lot of you guys, I don't know why, I guess, I guess if I were you guys too, I'd probably think the same, but a lot of you guys think, oh, like, stop dating these types of people. Like, what are you, why don't you stop doing that? Um, it's not at all because of the fame, not at all because of the money, because if we sit back and we look, you can see that I have both of those things all on my own. So it's not that, it's that I love when someone has their life on track and I love, 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 I find it so attractive when a guy loves what they do and turns their hobby into a career which is what I did. Now, I know that the majority of the population isn't doing what they love, so I know like we didn't all get blessed like that, um, but yeah, that is why I end up with those types of people. Um, just because they have a career and their life is on track and they love what they do. So another one is he wants kids. Of course, one day I want to be a mom. I love kids so much. I love babies. I was a nanny for a couple years. I literally played with baby dolls till I was like 14 years old, maybe 15. I don't tell anyone. Um, but yeah, I love kids a lot. So he needs to want kids. Another thing is he understands what teamwork is. Teamwork, you guys, makes the dream work. Let's say I am in the kitchen cooking something or whatever. I think it would be so cool if you came in the kitchen and like offered to do the dishes or offered to clean up a little bit, just stuff like that. Teamwork is super important. Another thing is he needs to be nice to people. Um, when you go out next time with a guy, pay attention to how he treats others, random people, friends, family, whatever. Pay attention to how he treats those people, many people mostly. Like let's say, one time I was at the airport with someone and this guy was really rude and I was super embarrassed. So ever since then I was like, oh my god, like I really need to start paying attention to how these guys treat other people. Like you have to be nice to people because if like a guy is not nice to random people, friends, family, like. What makes you think he's going to be nice to you? So that's very important to me. Um, just like my guy needs to be a nice person to everybody. Another thing is motivates me as I would motivate him. And it's like so simple. Like you wake up, I would love a good morning text, whatever. Like I hope you have a great day. I hope you accomplish everything you wanted to do today. Like. Just like being positive, being motivating, like, cause I'm such a motivating person. Like I'm, I'm always trying to make people smile and make people think positively. So I just need someone who can match my energy on that one. Lifts me up and calls me beautiful, all of that. I love when a guy is sweet. I love when a guy compliments me and like I'm not, I'm not always like asking for compliments because I'm a very confident person, but people love to hear things from, especially somebody that they love, like, oh, like, good morning, beautiful, like stuff like that. It's, just, it's so simple and easy to say, um, but a lot of guys don't. So yeah, stuff like that. Just say nice things to me every once in a while because I'm always trying to stroke your ego, always, in any way that I possibly can. Um, so yeah, I would love for my guy to just say sweet things to me. Be wild and adventurous with me. I am very wild, very adventurous. I love to travel. I love to do spontaneous things, random stuff, but not too, sp I don't know, there's a fine line. I'm spontaneous, but, but yeah. I like to do fun things, random things. So I need someone just like that. I want to wake up and be like, hey, like, let's go to 
Colorado, let's go snowboarding this weekend, like randomly, let's pack a bag and let's go, like, cause that's how I am. I'm always down to go anywhere, whenever. So yeah, someone who's adventurous with me, who would want to go outside with me, like also somebody who loves to be outdoors because I love to be outdoors. I love, I love the beach, the ocean. I love looking up at the sky. I love to just sit out on my balcony. Like I love to just be outside. I love the grass. Like any way I can, I love to be outside. I don't know, there's something about the outdoors that makes me feel like reconnected to the earth. I need someone to um, also love being outside. Another thing is can't be too obsessed with himself. That's very unattractive, but he needs to be confident. I don't like cocky guys, but I do love confidence. I don't like arrogance. That throws me off so much. But yeah, be humble, but know that you're the shit. And this is very, very rich coming from me. <laughs> but I don't know. Isn't too into social media. Like, and I know that I'm very into social media, so that's why I say it's rich coming from me, but social media is my job. Um, if it wasn't my job, I definitely would not be on there. Um, but yeah, someone who's not too into social media, preferably not have social media at all, but everybody does these days, it's okay. But yeah, I just like, the only thing that bothers me about that is like, I don't want to have to pick through what selfie you should post or should I post this on my story or like my Instagram? Can you help me with the caption? Like I don't care about any of that stuff. I don't talk to anyone about that, like besides myself, like I just don't want to talk about social media ever. Yeah, I don't know. Unless it's your job, that's cool, like, like I understand because it's my job too, so. But if it's not your job, like, I would just prefer my guy not to be too into social media. Um, another one is he needs to know how to cook at least, at least one meal. Just because if I'm not there or something, like I want my guy to be able to like fend for himself. I just find it attractive when a guy can take care of himself. Another thing is, and I know this also goes with people's jobs, so whatever, it's just my opinion. I don't like when like a guy stays up till like 4 a.m. and then wakes up at like 2 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 p.m. I just find that kind of unattractive and I would just prefer someone to just go to bed at a decent time and wake up early and start their day. But again, we all have different jobs and you know, that's that. Another one is, isn't messy. I am a very, very clean person. I have OCD with cleanliness. I literally vacuum my house like twice a day and any speck on the table, I'm like, nope. Um, so yeah, I need my guy to not be messy, very clean, preferably, um, puts his clothes away, cleans up after himself, just stuff like that. Someone who's on the same page with me and being clean, don't be messy. I don't know, it's just like being messy to me is just like, it shows your, your character. <laughs> like when someone is clean and organized, just like shows like, Okay, like, you got yourself together, you know? Another one is, he loves my family and loves his, of course. I am really big on family, so I'm always paying attention to how a guy is with his family, how he interacts with mine. Um, I'm always trying to be close with um, his mom or, his brothers, sisters, whatever, because I find that very important. And I also make new friends out of that. So yeah, he needs to love my family, love his, because once you guys get older and like you wanna go to like your family's house for a holiday, like if he didn't have any of that, he never had family time, he doesn't really, really value value, really, really value family time. Um, he might get annoyed if you say like, let's go to my aunt's for Christmas, you know? Like, I just want someone who values family and family time like I do. Another one is flowers for no reason. I love flowers so much. I don't know why, but flowers are like my favorite thing ever. 
I love flowers, especially for no reason. There was a few times where I had to tell one of my ex-boyfriends, hey, like, make sure you send me flowers on Valentine's Day. Don't forget, please send me flowers. Probably reminded him at least like seven times. And I don't honestly, we are at the age where I shouldn't have to remind you to send me flowers on like something like Valentine's Day. So like, I don't know, just think about stuff like that, you know? Flowers for no reason. Every girl loves that. Well, not every girl, but I love that. So yeah, not too hard to ask for, not too much. Another one is aware of their flaws and wants to grow. So I'm very aware of my flaws. I always want to grow into the best woman that I can be. I'm always on the path. I'm always learning things to be the best woman that I can be. And I want my guy to want the same for himself. Another one is keeps their word and yeah, just keeps their word. If, you're, if you say you're gonna do something, please do it. There's nothing more than I, there's nothing more that bothers me than when someone says they're gonna do something and doesn't do it. So, I don't know if you guys noticed, but in that list, there was absolutely nothing about the outside, nothing about the physical looks. Like it's all about like what's in here. Like I am just really big on personality and how someone is in the inside. So yeah. So a big thing that was brought to my attention a while ago was I was talking about this guy and one of my friends was like, does he treat you like a queen? And I had to sit and think about that for a second because honestly, he didn't really. So that's when I was like, hmm. Um, yeah, I had to think about that. And from then on, I decided that I'm not going to settle. I like, I will not settle for anything less than a man who also knows what he wants and who can, I don't want to say handle someone like me, but who, who can easily handle someone like me because a lot of you guys say that you want someone who knows what they want, but I don't think that's necessarily true. A lot of you guys, like when you come across a woman who actually knows what she wants, you guys get intimidated and kind of back away. But ladies, don't ever settle. Just don't do it. I honestly think everybody should write a list of what they want in their significant other because it really just helps when you, when you date someone, you can, you can take mental notes of the red flags and yeah, of course, nobody is perfect and everybody has flaws. It's really just all about the flaws that you can handle. There are a lot of flaws that I can handle and there are a lot of flaws that I just cannot handle. So that is something you should always keep in mind. But I think that's everything. Um, I lost count, maybe that was like, 28, 29 things that I want in a guy, but hopefully one day I get a guy who can match my energy. And until then, I will be single and happy and working on myself. And that's the way it's going to be because I will not ever settle. So. Oh. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a few things. I hope you can apply some things to your life and maybe you write a list and that's all. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up, leave some nice comments and don't forget to subscribe to your girl. Love you.